Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna, and we're going to be going to a bookstore. And I like that. Hey, then it's a bookstore. Oh. This books don't ever. Oh my god. Why did I not check this out sooner? I'm not sure if they're organized by author's last name or by genre. Yes, you know, that's a lot of twilight. Of course, I want to find Harry Potter. There's just no escaping it. It is so cool. Oh, and then the entering entrance bookstore looks a little bit sketchy, but this is so cool. If this is not on, I don't know what is. I thought that says Top Gun. When a road and gun says with a bird, I thought that says Top Gun. Do you have a list? Right here. As I never gonna forget. I might need help. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. So I really have this book, which is fine. I can get the other two somewhere else, but yeah, I see some other stuff oh. that I like. I want a typewriter, but they cost a thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah, what, I was gonna say, are these, those are even presented at the beginning, it's like this is yeah. based on a true story. I will try. I'll do my best. I'll do a lot of deep programming. 
Can't save them all. So far, I think I'm gonna get one more if I can find. Young adult, I'm trying to find a tempest tea. Never mind, they don't have no I know. But let's look at the box. The name of the blade. I do want to read this, these very vicious games. Yeah. I do want to read this book too. I should have in a basket. I didn't know there was a basket. Carry on being so popular and fan girl. Still haven't read it, and that's okay. It just doesn't interest me. He is walking. What ever happened to him? But is that a movie ever came out? Mythology. I just need some mythology. Hello. Oh, you're good. I'm just thinking. Um.
Mythology either. I mean, I have like this one shelf and that's it. Okay. Look at that old TV, y'all. Oh, wow. Wow, that blinks the even time. Those volumes. I would love to have like those ones. Okay guys, I got it, and this is the building, I don't know if you can tell, I'm kind of on the other side, but I think this is a success, oh my gosh, successful, so, yeah, let's dive in, yeah, that's a cool idea though, I like that idea though, but um, yeah, I think it was successful, I'm gonna give you guys a haul, so, I should come to that back to the books and more often. Because every time you, if you want to return the book, you're give me half of that credit. I think that's really good. Nice, so. Yeah. But that beige building right there, and that is the store I can do. But okay, I'll see you guys later. Alright, guys. I got 
up my bed and was successful. So let's see what we have. But yeah, that was like a pretty cool bookstore. I think I see some myself. Like it was gonna sketch me and go in, but like on the side of the wall, so it was like the maps of the world and all that. So it looks really, really nice. So I hope I got that on camera. But yeah, so my first book was The Black House by Carol Johnston, who is the author of Mirrorland. Oh, that is a nice cover. Beautiful. So, what I like about second is that they are being cheap, a little bit cheaper than like used ones, so like a, a new book I meant. <laughs> so that's really nice, but I actually don't know what this is about. So, Animal Village and Deadly Secret a woman who knows the truth. Robert Mead moved his family to Scotland's outer Hebrides, driven by home, claiming safety and community and hiding a terrible secret. But despite his efforts to fit in, Robert is seen as an outsider. As the legendary and violent Hebridean storms rage around him, he begins to unravel, believing his fate on the remote island of Kilmary cannot be escaped. All her life, Maggie McKay has feared something was wrong with her. When Maggie was five years old, she announced that a man on Kill Mary, a place that she had never visited, had been murdered. Her strange claim drew media attention and had turned the locals against one another, creating rifts that never mended. Nearly 20 years later, Maggie is determined to find out what really happened and what the islanders are hiding. But when she begins to receive ominous threats, Maggie is forced to consider how much she is willing to risk to discover the horrifying truth. That sounds spectacular, so... I actually mostly bought horrors and thrillers, so I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> so my next book is The Vicious Game by Joel Wellington. I've been wanting to read this for quite some time and I finally have it. You must work twice as hard to get half as much. And Dana Walker has known this the entire time she's been a scholarship at the prestigious Edgewood Academy, a school for the uber rich and mostly white New England upper class. It's why she works so hard to be perfect, above reproach, no matter what she has to force on the surface. Even one slip can cost her everything. And it does. One fight, one moment of lost control leaves Adina Black lesson from her top choice Ivy League college and any other. Her only chance to regain the future she sacrificed everything for is to finish. A high stakes contest sponsored by Edgewater's founding family, a much clever young ambitious woman with exceptional Flowers are selected to compete in three mysterious events, the ride, the raid, and the royale. The winner will be granted entry into the full of the Remington family whose wealth and power can open any door. But when she arrives at the finish, Adina gets the feeling that something isn't quite right with both the Remingtons and her competition, and soon it becomes clear that this larger the life prize can only come at a greater cost because the finished stakes aren't just make or break. The life and death. And Dana knows the deck is stacked against her. It always has been. But maybe the only way to survive the vicious game is for her to change the rules. Oh, it's like a little maze over here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a maze. Okay, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this. So I hope it's good. And the cover is really pretty. My next book is The Forgotten Girls by Sarah Blaydell. Four days, Louise Wick still had no answers. An identified woman's body was discovered in a local forest. A large, unique scar on one side of her face should have made identification easy. But nobody has reported her missing. As the new commander of the missing persons department, Louise risked involving the media by releasing a photo of the victim, hoping to find someone who knew her. Louise Gamble, Gamble pays off, an older woman phones to say that she recognizes the woman as Liz Meta, a child who she once cared for in the state mental institution many years ago. Liz Meta, like the other children in the institution, was abandoned by her family and been branded a forgotten girl. But Louise soon discovered something more disturbing. Liz Meta had a twin, and both girls were issued death certificates more than 30 years ago. Aided by her friend, journalist Camilla Lind, Louise finds that her investigation takes a surprising and unsettling turn when it brings her closer to her childhood home. And as she uncovers more crimes that were committed and hidden in the forest, she is forced to confront a terrible link to her own past that has been carefully concealed. I wonder 
if she is the same Queen Twin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, obviously it says they were both of them were issued death certificates. Unless one of them faked their own deaths. Who knows? I guess we have to find out and read a book. So, and this also gives you an idea of my book going. I can't say anything. You have to wait and see. It's only a few months, guys. Oh, I'm excited for this year's book -oween. And my last book is The House in the Pines by Anna Rees. Um, Maya was a high school senior when her best friend Aubrey mysteriously dropped dead in front of the enigmatic man named Frank while they had been spending time with all summer. Seven years later, Maya lives in Boston with a loving boyfriend and escaping the secret addiction that has allowed her to cope with what had happened years ago, the gaps in her memories and the lost time that she can't account for. But her past comes rushing back when she sees a recent YouTube video with which a young woman suddenly cares over and dies in a diner while sitting across from none other than Frank. Plunged into the trauma that has defined her life, Maya heads to her bookshare's hometown to a life that fateful summer, the influence Frank once had on her, and the obsessive jealousy that nearly destroyed her friendship with Aubrey. And her mother's self, she excavates fragments of her past and notices hidden messages in her deceased God to Mellon Father's book that didn't stand up to her earlier. To save herself, she must understand the story written before she was born. But time keeps running out, and soon all modes are leading back to Frank's cabin. That sounds really thrilling. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so those are all the books I had picked up from that bookstore. I love that bookstore. I wish I had gotten this sooner. But yeah, let me know what you have picked up this recently, which is funny. I haven't bought a book in a while, so I explained my somewhat shopping spree. I only buy books that interest me. I don't get like all these huge book, book hauls. Like, I am like to watch them, but I'm like, are you really gonna read all of those books? I don't know, it just seems like a waste of money to me. I just buy books that genuinely interest me. But to each their own. But anyways, uh, if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!